What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. And we're heading to our first service call on this little gloomy day. It has a slight little drizzle, right? It is 59 degrees here. And we're going to our first service call in Franklin Square, New York. Franklin Square is part of the town of Hempstead in the county of Nassau, on Long Island, in the great state of New York. <laughs> it's not so great if you ask me, I'm just being sarcastic. Anyway, we have a customer that we, unfortunately we had to reschedule twice due to staffing shortages. We need more techs in the field, ladies and gentlemen. I need one HVAC tech for full-time year-round employment. So if you're looking for an HVAC residential service position, you have experience. Don't waste my time and lie and say you do. Because if you do, you're gonna get quickly caught out and I'm gonna send you packing, all right? But if you got some HVAC experience and you wanna do some residential service, all right? Career opportunities are available. All right, I'm right down the block from my next service call. Central air conditioning unit outside is not coming on. Let's go see what's going on. Try to uh, we try to comment everyone, but uh, it is what it is. Right, but uh, thanks for being accommodating. Uh, I got you told turn on my pressure. Okay, my office is telling me that uh, you called because the outdoor unit is not coming on. Right? Yeah, the, the pump is not coming in. Okay. Uh, it comes on. No okay. All right, let me go get my my uh, phone. You turn everything no on. No problem. The I'll meet you at the unit. Ream Classic from August 2003. This is a 37,000 BTU model, so it's three tons. We'll follow the line set. And that line set looks like it goes up here into the wall. Sometimes you can tell that one goes up, one goes, you know, to the first floor, you can differentiate. The other one over here, also a, uh, three ton 37,000 BTUs in that model number and also manufactured in 8 August 2003 R22 system 79 ounces factory charged same thing here you're gonna notice that this one this model does not have that little red button that high pressure that high pressure switch I just heard something, but it must be the neighbor's system. So we will see which one of these it is. Oh, well, it's either going to be number one or number two. You gotta lower it down since it's uh. Okay. Now hold on a second. So what floor is not working? First floor, or second floor. First floor is not working. I got you. All right, so let's just turn this back off. Okay. Let's turn that back off again. And let me uh, grab some tools. Yeah, a little bit of rain today. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I know these things. Sometimes the relay, you take yep. a fish duck. Yeah, don't touch anything. <laughs> no, I know, I'm just saying. Don't I touch anything. Don't touch it, I work with the elevators. So you got some melted wires there, and that's never a good thing. All right, well, we're going to check all the electrical components, make sure it's all... Uh, 
copacetic. Nothing there, nothing there. Check the other side just in case and pull the hole and nothing. So power's off. So you got this melted wire right here. Do I think that's the cause of it not working? Probably not. I'm gonna guess something. Uh, yeah, well, I'm guessing something probably shorted out and blew the fuse. So let's uh, actually not blew the fuse because your condenser fan mode it was running. But how old is this thing? This thing is. She old. Okay. And let's take a look at our compressor. Looks good in there? No, not yet. <laughs> no, I mean the wires. Does it good. look good? No, it does not look good. So, you have, we already repaired it once. So this is just burnt off. You have the burnt up wiring on the contactor. Too, yeah, well, <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't mean anything good anyway. Yeah. All right, the capacitor was underrated. The resistance on our contactor was in the teens. That's still good, but I would replace that anyway. Let's ohm out the uh, compressor. All right, we're gonna test for shorts to ground. We have one terminal hooked up to ground, and we can verify that by <laughs> now. Oh, turned off. Battery's low. All right, right there, and okay, and let's go there, nothing, let's go there, nothing, and let's go there. Actually, let's pull this off. Uh, nope, I was actually touching the ground. Did it turn off again? Yeah. All right, let's test resistance between terminals. 4,700. <laughs> wow. Open line. And let's go to this one and that one. One. So we have a dead compressor. All right, so we have the capacitor, the contactor, the burnt wiring, the unable to read resistance between terminals on the compressor and we need to replace the system all right it's an r22 system uh it's quite possible that maybe just maybe if we put in a hard start uh, replace some wiring terminal repair kit right we may be able to salvage the system but There'll be absolutely no warranty or guarantee, and if it dies or it doesn't even start, they still gotta pay me. So uh, this kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You think she's wearing a fur coat? Oh no, she's pretty clean. Look at that. Usually the side against the house, the condensing coil against the side of the house is always filthy, but in this case it's pretty clean. Still, still probably dirty. All right, customer declined and against my recommendation, all right? So I did not recommend this. He goes, well, why don't we replace these parts and uh, try to get it to work? And I was like, listen, sir, if you want to spend like $1,000 throwing parts at this thing and it still don't work uh, in an hour from now, um, I'm going to feel bad taking $1,000 from you, but I'm going to take it from you, all right? So don't go that route. You need to replace the system. But, well, why can't I just replace the compressor? I'm like, well, you could replace this as a compressor. And if we go that route, we're going to increase today's bill by doing an acid test and checking the refrigerant to make sure it is not contaminated. Because if it is, um, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you need a new system, right? We have melted wires that are going to the, co the compressor. We have compressor windings that are all effed up and you've been piecing this system together over the last several years. So the time has come where it needs to be replaced. And he goes, all right, well, just button it back up together. I'll pay for your time. I was like, okay, no problem. Give me a call if you need anything. Like, He's like, okay. We'll see. I don't get every single job. I don't. 
Uh, was I expecting to sell my system there? No, but that's the only real, the real repair there. If he's gonna hire someone to put in a uh, a new compressor, have at it. I don't want nothing to do with it, you know, because I'm not gonna own that system. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. All right, guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What would you do? Catch you in the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.